This morning's liftoff from Florida's Cape Canaveral station may seem like the highlight, especially after many frustrating delays for Boeing. The actual upcoming docking set for Thursday with the space station for this first ever crewed flight of the Starliner capsule is just as exciting for some. This is actually video from a previous uncrewed mission back in 2022. We're all set up for docking tomorrow, 1215 Eastern is the docking time. And we're looking forward to that. And with all the spacecraft checks underway today, the focus is on the equipment to actually connect the capsule and the International Space Station so the two veteran astronauts can join others already on board the ISS. Uh, we will check out the NASA docking system and extend th that ring and check it out today. Parts of that docking equipment are actually from Moog of ELMA with its already well-established space and defense group. In this case, Moog engineers, technicians and workers designed designed and produced the linear actuation system as part of a soft capture maneuver for an autonomous or automatic control docking operation. This Moog system is also being updated for deep space conditions as part of the upcoming Artemis return to the moon missions to allow astronauts to transfer between craft in the moon's orbit for their actual lunar landings. Of course, Moog also makes other actuation or precise movement control devices for launch vehicles, just as it did in the 1960s NASA Saturn Apollo moon landings. But for now, in orbit for the Starliner astronauts and space station crew. I sent a note to the International Space Station team and, and I said, hey, you know, turn the porch light on, print out the Wi-Fi password <laughs> and uh, set the table for two more for dinner. So we got a couple people coming to visit and that's just an awesome mission. You know, it's really amazing to think that all these millions of parts on space rockets all have to work perfectly to get them up there. And again, Moog's team must supply precise quality in its specific equipment in that massive effort for NASA and Boeing now. A Boeing Starliner is actually now a second crewed orbital space vehicle option, joining the Space Dragon capsules, which are built and launched by Elon Musk, competing SpaceX firm. On your side, as a space nerd here, Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.